I was on a roof in doing it in a museum house in Newport, Rhode Island with a preservation consultant in, uh, you know, from upstate New York. And I got a call on, on, the, on this in you know, early stages of, you know, we can come look at it, and, you know, report and all that. And he, and when I hung up the phone, he was like, is that the Concord gas holder? And I said, yeah, why? That's really one of the most significant historic resources in New England. I actually didn't even want to take the project. And uh, is it okay to admit this? Yeah, okay. Because it's a mess. It's a really, it's, it's a tricky one. And I've, I've uh, stabilized the clock faces of Independence Hall. I've uh, um, done work on tunnels. I've, um, you know, we just uh, uh, restored and stabilized the New Jersey State House uh, with an invented system that I came up with. And, uh, but out of all these, this, you know, because what's interesting is it's in a really precarious state. And uh, you know we're slowly bringing things back up to a ultimately a safe and stable condition and, and ultimately restorable condition. Well, we've been primarily working inside the gas holder. We have completed the installation of all of the new steel, and we are uh, preparing for the shoring contractors to come in and erect shoring towers. We started off with four existing spoke beams and we created a new structural square using those existing spoke beams. We then reinforced the existing spoke beams by tying them into the new square and we added four new spoke beams by hanging on the square in the center and by uh, having them rest on new footings that we put on on the exterior perimeter. We then installed a very heavy underslung beam, which helps to reinforce the existing spoke beams. We're put, building a uh, structural steel grillage um, over the holder on which then we're gonna build uh, or, uh, staging frames or shoring frames that, that are gonna come up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up the, uh, the roof we're not really going to lift it right now. We're going to hold it in place. The shoring frames are essentially scaffolding, but a more heavy duty style than typical pipe staging. And those uh, shoring frames will go all the way up to the roof to support the uh, framing and the slate roofing on top of the framing. So the system right now we're putting in is gonna serve as a safety catch until the next phase. We will walk away from this phase with the structure that will not collapse. And it's, uh, you know, it's not safe for, it's not fit for human occupancy because of the precariousness of the existing structure. But we've taken that danger dial and we've dropped it, you know, way down. And, uh, you know, we're well on the way and, you know, we can, to drive up 93 and look to the left with confidence and it will it will still be there and it'll be there through the the big blizzards and the winds and all that